Hello, everybody. Um, let's talk about uh, parent and teen conflict management. So today we're going to talk about that, how we can actually adjust to when there's a conflict in our house with the, especially our children. Conflict with teens, teenager is very natural. And they, the key thing is to manage as, you know, constructively um, with the, those uh, conflict management involving uh, like trying to calm them down, you know, listening, focusing on the issue, like why they're actually saying that, making sure like they feel empowered as well, like they have right to speak. And then of course, you know, like to bring up their emotions. Emotions are very strong, like especially for teenagers. They feel like, you know, nobody can help us to try, uh, calm down. Nobody can actually listen us. So they feel like um, parents or probably seniors or adults, you know, like have their own values. They want just always to impose their values on them. So we want to make sure like they're always having that sense of feeling that, you know, it's not like that, you know, they have the right to speak, they have the right to, to manage themselves. So um, let's talk about like, why it is important when you are actually raising a teenager to make sure um, having that conflict management balance. So um, conflict happens, sorry, conflict happens because your child is becoming an independent and responsible. And because of that, you know, they have their own preferences, they have their own opinions, and they want always to agree and disagree on, you know, others' opinions, and they have right to do that. And some are the times when the traditional values, cultural things, and other, um, you know, like household things, are actually conflicting with the um, teenagers, parents, or probably with their grandparents. And uh, there we need to make sure like, you know, we have that uh, strength, we have that ability to at least to handle that, to very carefully handle that with, the, um, you know, with our own um, uh, kind of values, which will not conflict with their values as well. We need to always make sure, you know, when there's a teenager, they have their own values from the school, which they feel like, yes, like whatever the school is teaching us is right. And then the other side, we have parents' values uh, where they feel like, oh, why you're imposing your values on us? Um, so in that situation, always make sure, you know, um, to make that manageable uh, um, relationship with your uh, child, you know, like which can actually help you to reduce your family stress, make your relationship even stronger with your child. And it can actually give both of the sides a respect and equal strength. Um, so first of all is, of course, always make sure you are stay calm, um, making an eye contact, you know, active listening, treat your child with respect, let your child the decision, you know, um, to take that decision to say something, to not to say something, and then let, give them empowerment, you know, like, okay, they have right to speak. If they want to be a leader in the house, you know, like, okay, they have right to do that. But of course, like always making sure, you know, like they have somebody on their side who is noticing what is right and what is wrong to make sure like always educate them on that um, uh, topic. And be open about your feelings and let them be open about their feelings because their feelings might sometimes hurt us and children sometimes you know they don't really um uh, feel that what they're gonna say is it bad or is it wrong or it is right you know they will say whatever they want to say and then we are the persons who always says that do not say bad words sometimes those bad words are actually hurting somebody's ego and from other side if we see uh, it's actually a right to, to say the truth on the person's face like this is the thing so never mold um, the values, never mold the personality of a child. Always educate them how to say stuff politely, how to say something, uh, you know, in a nice way. If you don't like it or if you like it, explain your viewpoint very simple and making it clear, you know, like they will not understand like bulky and uh, uh, heavy vocabulary words. They will always look forward for a simple instruction. Okay, do not do this. 
this is why you should not do this. Um, so these are the um, these are a few examples, you know, like to help um, help in conflict with the teen and parents. So this is the example. This is the example of conflict management, I would say. So always actively uh, listening to your child, uh, be respectful to them, make eye contact, you know, stay calm whenever the situation happens and always make sure like they are doing OK as well as you are doing OK. Thank you.